views on a Monday. You got that right. <laughs> Helps beat the blues. All right, Justin, we'll see you later. We now know at least 12 deaths and more than 100 injuries following the storms late last week in the Midwest and Central Plains. It includes seven adults and two children killed in Oklahoma. Renowned storm chaser Tim Samaras was among those who died at the time. He was storm chasing with his 24-year-old son and his friend. They, too, were killed. Three deaths in Missouri have also been blamed on heavy flooding. Despite two weeks of severe weather in Oklahoma, officials say things could have been worse. We had already had our emergency operations centers up and running. We actually had them up and running before this storm hit on Friday. We were prepared. We had already had all the different state entities, local people, federal FEMA people activated. And uh, that helped us mitigate some of the uh, tragedies that we could have experienced, even worse, with so many storms that came through on Friday at such a, a rapid pace. The National Weather Service says none of the recent tornadoes were as powerful as the EF5, the one that killed 24 people in Moore, Oklahoma, back on May 20th. Stuck in the storm, some local volunteers helping in the relief efforts in Oklahoma were in the midst of that turbulent weather on Friday. But even after experiencing some scary moments, they say help is needed now more than ever. That is evident. Fox 6's Derricka Williams with the story. Several tornadoes ripped through the Midwest Friday, causing a new path of destruction while staring up previous rubble. Local disaster relief groups were near harm's way. Matt Berry with Legacy Christian Church says his team was hunkered down. You really couldn't see out the windows of the restaurant. It was just so dark and green and just rain was coming everywhere. Then we had flooding issues all over. Mary Ann Lee and her team from Elmbrook Church had a similar experience as they took cover in a church's safe room. Because the people in the neighborhood had already been hit once, they pulled in the parking lot and they came in and they were hiding in the doors and the windows to get in. I was looking at their eyes. And they were scared. Folks in the Oklahoma City area emerged to a new landscape of destruction. Legacy had collected cleaning supplies and donated items to help with the relief. Their efforts were extended. Lee says many responding agencies altered plans. The tide truck was there and washing people's clothes and things, and um, they knew we were going to move to a different area or something, but since it hit in this same area again, they're still there. It's the little things that make the largest impact for these volunteers. That includes sifting through rubble and helping people piece their lives back together. We were at Dan's house and he's an Air Force guy and he was looking for his medals in that rubble. It was very important to him. These volunteers didn't think twice about weathering challenges just so they could offer hope and salvation. Reporting from Milwaukee, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News. Now, the remaining Elmbrook volunteers now plan to return home on Wednesday. Members of Legacy say their next step is to partner with a disaster relief team in Illinois that will help rebuild homes later on in the year. The American Red Cross has been busy in Oklahoma these past couple of weeks. Thanks to technology, though, they are offering extra help to disaster victims or could be victims. The organization has several apps available for your phone. For example, the Tornado app puts everything you need to know to prepare for a tornado, and all of that comes right in the palm of your hand. Here's how to get prepared. We got a little quiz on here. Um, we tell you what to have and where. We tell you what to put in the basement or if you have one or wherever you should go in the event of a tornado. Once it happens, then we have the recovery for you and how to start. Online, the group also helps reconnect storm victims who may have been separated from family members. Once again, we put more information on those services and those apps on our website, fox6now.com. It's really a pretty good idea. Think about it. The one thing you might get out of your home with is your phone. That would be instinctive just right. to grab that so and run. People, so, huh? yeah, you got it. Traffic in and out of the Milwaukee area could have driven you a bit crazy today. <laughs> but that headache is bringing inspiration to others.